Hello and welcome to 5-Minute Math. Today we are looking at the 6th grade concept of graphing on the coordinate plane. This is standard 6.11a in the great state of Texas and we are using item number 41 off the 2016 released star test. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and take a moment to pause the video, work this problem out on your own, unpause it, and then we will look at our answers together. So Benicia graphed point G on the coordinate grid, then she will graph point H at a location five units away. That's all we know, five units away. And which order pair could represent H? Well, first let's figure out where G is. So remember, we're going to use our X coordinate first, followed by our Y coordinate, because X comes before Y in the alphabet. So X is left to right, and you see it's negative four. And then y is up and down, so this is going to be a positive 3, which means this is quadrant 1. g right now is in quadrant 2. It's got a negative x, positive y. we got quadrant 3 down here, and then quadrant 4, which is quadrant 4 has got the positive x and negative y. So 5 units away. Well, let's just count 5 units in each direction. Let's graph all those and see which one of those pop up. So, G, I'm going to go 1, 2, 3, 4. Let's go 5 up right here. I'm going to make a big one right up there. And let's see, notice our X is going to stay the same because we didn't move left or right at all. What we did is we moved up and down. So we went up from 3 to 8, which makes sense, right? We're just going to change our Y coordinate up 5. So negative 4, 8. Do not see that on our answer choices, so that's not going to be it. Let's see if we can go 5 to the left. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Oh, we're almost getting off of our graph here. So our x coordinate is the one that changed, right? So our negative 4 is going to change to negative 9 because we went over 5 to the left. But we didn't move up or down, which means our y coordinate stays the same. So let's take a look at negative 9, 3. I do not see that either. So we've got two options left. Let's, we're not going to do diagonal. These are just simply going to be up or down, left or right. So let's see what happens when we go down five. Let's see, one, two, three, four, five. All right, so we crossed the x-axis. We didn't change our position along the x-axis at all. So we're still at negative 4. But you notice that we went down 5. So we went from a positive 3 down to a negative 2. We actually jumped quadrants because now both our x and our y coordinate are both negative. Negative 4, negative 2, that's down in quadrant 3. We're really close here. But we're 1 away, and 1 away is not quite good enough. So let's see what happens if we can move over to the right. And let's hope that's it, because that's our last option here. One, two, three, four, there we go. So we are right there, now we moved, we changed our X coordinate. So our X coordinate is going to be one. We jumped coordinate uh, quadrants from quadrant two over to quadrant one, because now our X and Y axis are both, our X and Y coordinates are both going to be positive. So we went over to positive 1, didn't change our Y coordinate. So we are at 1, 3, and there we go. There is our answer. And if we wanted to, right, we could have just taken this right here without even graphing it. We could have taken our negative 4, 3, and we could have, um, you know, just added 5 which is what we did, right? So that's negative 4, 8. That's what we got first. Or we could take our negative 4, 3, and we could have taken away 5, which is would have been negative 4, negative 2, which is what we did here. We could have done the same thing over to our x coordinates, which eventually gave us our answer, right? We could have added 5, and they gave us 1, 3. That was our answer, or we could have taken away 5, that was negative 9, 3. The answer is C.